Let's start off with what a total solar eclipse is and why it has so many people out of their minds with this out of this world phenomenon. A total solar eclipse is when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and earth. People in the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken like dusk or dawn. They'll see what's called the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. We spoke with the fleet's resident astronomer and professor of physics and astronomy at San Diego City College, Dr. Lisa Will. So if you're lucky enough to be in the path of totality, it actually will get darker outside. And people report hearing the animals quiet down, bird song quiets down, because the diurnal creatures are getting triggered like, oh, it's nighttime. So yeah, it, it, it's actually a noticeable effect. The temperature drops if you're in the path of totality. To say she's excited might be an understatement. She has plans to venture to Indiana to get a glimpse. This is a thriving tourist industry, actually. Many others have booked flights years in advance to be somewhere along the path of totality. Hotels are booked up in states like Maine. It's very exciting. I don't think I've ever seen it that busy in April. <laughs> in Ohio, the Department of Transportation will have gas nozzles ready. They expect that many people to get stuck on their roads. The last total solar eclipse that occurred in the United States was in August of 2017, and you could actually see the traffic jams on Google Maps. The Omni in Texas has special room rates and viewing parties. They even issued a disaster declaration in one small Texas town because of how packed they're about to get. And what might be the most epic way to watch? Some airlines have flights directly along its path. As for the path, the moon's shadow falling upon the earth actually while it's still in the Pacific. And then it's going to enter through Mexico near Mazatlan, going to travel across Mexico, enter the United States around Texas, and continue along the diagonal, going up through like Indiana, uh, parts of New York, uh, Maine, and then it exits through Canada. So here in San Diego, we'll still get to see 55% of the eclipse. You're going to see beautiful little crescent suns. Similar to October 2023, hundreds of people gathered to watch the partial viewing. And in true fleet fashion, they'll have another educational and entertaining party at Balboa Park. An important part of all of this, protecting your eyes. Make sure you get glasses like these, but they have to be certified by ISO. As the eclipse is happening, the rays of the sun can damage your eyes. But there is a brief moment when it's okay to view with the naked eye, and that's during the exact moment of totality, which is expected to last between three and a half to four minutes, depending on where you are. During totality, it is safe to look at the sun briefly, but I always caution people against doing that unless they have somebody warning them when to look away. Locally, the fleet has your eyes covered with plenty of glasses available and plenty of people who can offer their expertise. Here's how it will all time out in San Diego. You'll get to see it on Monday, April 8th, with the partial solar eclipse beginning at 10.03 a.m., reaching its peak at 11.11, and then it'll come to an end at 12.23 p.m. Two hours and 20 minutes where we can all unite for one celestial mission, a mission that has people around the world coming to North America to look at the skies. For Earth 8, I'm Netta Iranpour.